Rich Side K9 guys, another quick Tesla real world review. Check it out. Today is going to be different. It's hot. It's like 100 degrees. We're down in Williamsburg at a William & Mary soccer game. We're going to walk our niece onto the field, but we just got here last night to my sister-in-law's beautiful home. Got the car plugged in. I want to go over this. Guys, whenever you travel, this is critical information. You've got to carry heavy duty extension cords with you at all times. So for me, I carry 100 feet of extension cords to 50 foot sections. That way if one breaks, got another. If I need 100 foot combined, I got it. I also have multiple uh, Tesla inverters. So again, pull up last night, yesterday afternoon, we got here at 26%. It's just a little trickle charge off of 110 or 120, but it doesn't matter. We went from 26% last night to, let's take a look. Let's see here guys, 26% last night, basically plugged into the wall and we're at 48%. So we gained 22% and whatever this was, 12 hours, I don't know. We've been sitting here for a little while, but I wasn't using the car, so why not plug it in and gain all that power? And again, one thing that everybody forgets about electric vehicles is it's very simple. Just plug it in the wall right there. Follow the green cord, it's gonna go right back in the front, and it's all set up and ready to rock. All right guys, a couple moving parts today, but the purpose of this test is to figure out the efficiency in about 100 degree weather. We're gonna have to blast the AC. So we're gonna restart trip B. Um, because we're gonna be on off, on off, on off, and we may have to stop and charge on the way home, so I don't wanna get confused on these two uh, top. So we're gonna be working off trip B. We have to keep the AC blasting day. Probably five is gonna be about the minimum. We might be able to dip to four. Might have to go up to six, we don't know. But again, it's gonna be about 100 degrees today, and we gotta travel about 150 miles with a couple stops in between. Let's get it going. All right, guys, we're starting off. We love Williamsburg. Our oldest son went to William & Mary grad school. Most of my wife's family went to William & Mary. She did not, I did not, that's okay. Um, but we do love Williamsburg. So, maybe we'll buy a house here someday. Let's do it. All right, guys, we just left the Culture Cafe in Williamsburg right there. Had a beautiful breakfast. Stadium entered, heading over to William & Mary. Let's roll, and it is right now 95 degrees outside. The AC is screaming. Let's make it happen. All right, guys, back in the car. We just finished the soccer game with William Mary. What do you think? Great game. Great All game. right. Great game. Outside temperature is 101 degrees. It is hot. AC is blasting. Next stop, tailgate party. And um, can't show you that whole code. All right, guys, very long, very hot day. We got kind of sidetracked doing some business email stuff on the way back, so we got kind of off the video. However, we're almost home. We've traveled 182 miles. We're averaging 56 kilowatts, or we use 56 kilowatts, and we're averaging 310 watt miles an hour. So obviously at 56 kilowatts and 182 miles traveled, we're getting over three miles a kilowatt. Uh, the vehicle's loaded down, air conditioning is on blast. It's a hot day, and we were on highway most of the day until we got to these back roads to get back by the house. So that's not the best thing for efficiency. So we're doing pretty good. And um, just a good example of how you can blast the AC, still have the radio, multiple people, vehicle loaded down, hot day, long miles on a highway. And if you drive conservative, you can still easily get over three miles a kilowatt hour. 